If you wanted a bunch of uranium, where would you go? Well, the best place to look is in a silver mine, because a lot of uranium ores are in silver mines. And actually, there's 40 times more uranium than there is silver. And there's even more uranium than there is mercury. But, okay, you know those videos of these iron cannonballs floating in mercury? Well, uranium is so dense that it doesn't float in mercury, it actually sinks. Anyway, back to uranium ores, or uraninite, as I think it's pronounced. Um, it, it was actually called pitch blend back in the days. And pitch meaning black, and blend meaning some, something that they have no idea. Because back in the days, they had no idea how to actually, you know, chemically find out what exactly this black ore is. But uranium isn't actually black to begin with. Well, I mean, the oxidized version of uranium is black. But what does uranium look like? For a very long time, I always thought it looked like, you know, this glowing piece of, I don't know, whatever, just this glowing rod. But actually, it looks more like that. <laughs> Shiny silver metal. Not very exciting, really. So there's 40 times more uranium than there is silver, but where exactly is all this uranium hanging out? Well, it's actually here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not all in this pot of plant. It's actually in the dirt. Um, there's a lot of uranium in dirt and seawater, but there's, there's such a small amount of it that it costs a lot of money to actually extract it. So right now, it doesn't make sense for us to just go out in your backyard and get dirt and throw it on the machine that will just separate uranium. Not yet. So how was uranium created? Well, it actually started in a supernova. Just like most heavy elements out there, or actually all heavy elements out there, it all starts in a supernova. There's a theory out there that says Earth's core is actually kept hot by nuclear decay. But that's not really the case. A lot of the heat is actually from Earth's creation four billion years ago. And even more heat, more than decay at least, is from hard rocks sinking and friction creating, well, heat. And yes, there is heat coming out of these nuclear decay, but not as much as we used to think. There are concentrations of uranium around the world. Most of it is actually in Kazakhstan. And the second most is in Canada, third most is in Australia. At least that's how it stands right now with our current technology. So now that you have all this uranium, how exactly do you make nuclear power out of it? Well, you have to enrich it, because right now all you have is mostly uranium-238, I think 99.3%, something like that. 99.3% uranium-238, and uranium-238 isn't really that radioactive. You want uranium-235, so how do you separate the two? The old way of doing things is getting the ore, crushing it, adding some acid to it, and then let it precipitate. And then you make this thing called a yellow cake. You then burn this cake and you got yourself enriched uranium. Now, that's super simplified and that is the old way of doing things. What is the new way of doing things? You first have to convert uranium solid into uranium gas by adding fluorine. I think it's fluorine. You add fluorine and what happens is Uranium-238 is actually a little bit heavier than Uranium-235. So what you have to do is you have to put these gases into a centrifuge as so it keeps spinning and spinning and spinning. And what happens is the Uranium-238 actually goes out to the, towards the edges and the Uranium-235 stays in the center. Now, you get some sort of a tube or some way of getting Uranium-235 gas from the center and pull it out and bring it into another centrifuge that spins and spins and spins and further separate the two until eventually you have yourself enriched uranium. Now, this enriching process takes a lot of energy and the metals used to actually enrich the stuff, I mean, the barrels of metal, it's expensive. That's why only, well, only rich countries can really enrich uranium. So now you have uranium-235 gas. How do you turn that back into solid? Well, you shoot it with lasers, of course, <laughs> and I'm not joking. So now you have yourself this uranium solid, and the most important question that I can think of is, will it blend? But in all honesty, I'll explain that in the next video. <laughs> all right, talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.